guys. Ooh. What's up, guys? Your favorite mystic, the Siren Sims, and we're back at it again with another, I guess you could say, interior design video. I kind of like this is becoming like a regular thing. Like, you know, you guys don't have to be bored. Like, okay, she's she's excellent at making Sims. We get it. Like, when you go do something else? So don't worry, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna try my best um to you know give you guys some more content i have a lot of stuff in the works um one of them is interior de designing houses so this is actually a part of the story of bonnie um please check out bonnie's story if you want to know you know where this location even is and what's happening um but i did want to give like a little bit of a disclaimer um i did not make any of the cc i'm using cc from other people um i I will have some videos about where I got the majority of this CC from. Um, I can't necessarily make a video about where I got all the CC from because some of those creators are not always great people. But um, yeah, Marta Sim book. I will make a video specifically on Marta Sim book, so do not worry about it. I will be there. I'll be there. You know, I have to do a little bit of cringy singing. I'm siren. Anyways, so this is a tiny house. Um. What's crazy is I was planning to do a tiny house and I thought I couldn't do it, but it's technically a tiny house. It is a tiny house and it has all the little amenities. Um, it's not as well put together as other tiny houses. I'm sure I could have done the proportions for the bedroom better to split it up so that there would actually be a living room and a bedroom. But look, I was just trying to make sure that all the proportions were there. So this is Dakota Kai's little tiny house. It's technically like an apartment or a loft or a shed you know a luxury shed um so he's living with bonnie because her grandparents you know known him around town and definitely kept him on as staff because he's really good at like fixing things and taking care of the little animals in the back and stuff like that so he's technically been living there for a while and has saved up a lot of the money that he's earned doing odd jobs around Appaloosa plains to you know deck his place out because you know as i said before um i didn't really go into it deep in his cast because i didn't have the full story but now i do um part of it is that even though he is a country boy he has a city mindset and so he's really into electronics and he doesn't go too far because i feel like if he went too far like bonnie wouldn't be into it which is why i didn't um give him an arcade even though i could have so yeah this is his tiny apartment which is right on the same lot as bonnie so they're gonna be living pretty closely together which will be very interesting i have a lot of drama ma that i am setting up for this let's play i'm setting up to make everything look good um the next video you should be seeing after this one um is either the let's play of rose's way or me making over somebody else in appaloosa plains who will be directly um in relation to the story for bonnie um Tokyo knows what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to spoil it for anybody else. Um, I'm actually working on photo shoots to make everything look very <laughs> extra. Um, but yeah, so this is his tiny house. I'm getting way better at designing. So I'll give you guys a little tip. It's a little tip because I'm not a pro, but this does help. And it makes me feel better about the work that I do when I do do when I do do some interior designing. So a lot of the times when you download um, furniture built by CC, sometimes, especially with Marta Simba, which is why I live by them, they'll give you like 10 items or something and then they'll give you a collection file. You put the collection file in the collection part of your Sims 3 game folder. I'm not going to really show you how to do that right now. I'll show you how to do that in the Marta Sim video. but. What that does is that that ensures that you can go into um, the collection section of Build By and just find the sets. And you know, there could be like a kitchen set, a bedroom set, a living room set, a clutter set. And you can use the different sets, mix and mash them to get the desired look. But if you really want something that it could, okay, like me, right? I'm not completely comfortable enough, even though I have done it in other houses and it's worked. I'm not too comfortable enough to just like mix and mash different things so what i'll do especially if i'm not feeling good about a room like the kitchen particularly i wasn't feeling too good about it at the time so i decided to use one of marta sim book's set and just use dang near the entire set in there 
and like just use the entire set so use the entire set it looks uniform it looks good um i think the only thing i didn't do um i used most of the stuff in there and then i used other pieces of different sets for the clutter clutter is very important i know people don't really like doing clutter um when they're inexperienced because it can lag your game so don't do a lot you saw well as you will see at the end um i do minimal clutter enough for the space to look lived in um uh, enough for it to look like somebody lived there and enough for the pictures to be cute not just like barren tables and barren walls or they hanging on the walls like make something hang on the walls a little bit um i like the bathroom right um i wish i had more selections of showers and tubs and stuff but yeah just to show this is a tiny house i was going to do i was gonna make a tiny house for something different um something that i'm working on but now that i'm not burdened down by making a tiny house like that I'm, i can do something a little different with what i have going on and i will try it out um also i have some sims 2 coming out just want you guys to know don't worry i will be doing sims 2 because uh, i know y'all love that um anyways yeah so just enjoy the rest of the video as usual enjoy the aesthetic music um if you guys want to know dakota and bonnie's story separately there are two separate videos about it down below that kind of interconnect um they're also really great videos i love them dakota is one of my sexiest male sims and y'all cannot tell no lies about that <laughs> um yeah um yeah i don't want to talk too much in this video so that will be about it for now i'm really starting to like interior designing and i think interior designing is helping me be a better builder because i'm understanding more like the dimensions that i can handle and how i would like a room to look um one thing i'll say before i go is i obviously had a theme he's a rancho cowboy that likes a little bit of uh what you would call it technology so i definitely had a lot of rancho cowboy themes with a little bit of that modernity in it i hope you guys like it let me know how you feel about it down below and let me know what you're excited to see in the future of all the stuff i updated y'all with next anyways seven minutes of talking for too long bye simmies Susu. -soo.